Hey everyone, how's it going today? I've got the 2022 Polaris Razor XP 1000. This one here is the Sport. So um, the difference between the Sport and the Premium, the Premium is gonna come with the Ride Command, which the Sport does not, obviously. So um, this customer here pre-ordered this in and they added the aluminum half doors and the aluminum um, roof. Other than that, everything comes standard. So I'll give you a quick walk around. You got the LED headlights, um, of course, no fang lights, which is these accent lights right here. Um, those do come on the premium. This one is completely blacked out. Even the doors were blacked out, which is kind of nice. Some people want a blank canvas to be able to make a wrap or put decals on it or whatever. So I think this option will be pretty popular this year. Of course, this is the four seater. So got quite a bit of leg room back here, floor drains in the rear, cup holders. You got a little cubby here for your phone or whatever. Um, glove box down here, glove box here, glove box up here. Of course, the gauge is right there. Um, 110 horsepower. It's got the Walker Evans uh, suspension. 64 inch width. And if you notice right here, that's the spot for the camera hole on the um, premiums. What's nice about the razors is there's easy access to the motor um, to the engine so you can get right on top and you know if you need to change spark plugs, um, do an oil change, air filter change, it's all pretty easy to get to. A lot of other brands do not have that easy access so um, that does make Polaris stand out. Then you do have a little, uh, let's see here. Access door right there to be able to get to your oil filter. What do you guys think of these half doors? Let me know in the comments below. Um, these are an accessory by Polaris. It just changes the skin of the doors, basically, and then of course makes it a full half door versus just the quarter door. Get a look at the LED headlights. See if we can get the camera to focus in a little bit. There they are. I'm glad that they're going to LED headlights on all of these machines because a lot of people are riding at night and obviously it's going to make it a lot safer and um, you shouldn't have to buy hopefully as many light bars or as big of a light bar because the stock headlights will actually do something for you. Also, the premium would have an LED light right here in the rear. That's like their LED accent light for the rear fuel fill on this side, passenger side of the rear. Nice and open in here in case you want to add a winch. The winch goes right above the front diff right there. And then it would come out. It would remove that plate right there and then it would come through there. Still using the old bus bar system they're not switching to the pull system on this one yet um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it's a little easier to use aftermarket accessories on this model versus um, being more stuck to the polaris accessories so that is pretty handy of course it is already has power ran to it and it's fused but anyways there you have the 2022 polaris razor xp sport also something to note if you've watched my other videos the new Polaris's for 2022 are supposed to have the badge with the NFC chip for whatever reason this one's still using an old badge I'm not sure if it's only certain models or what um, these are only 2022's I've gotten in so far so the new badge is a lot bigger and looks like that it's Polaris's newer style logo so anyways there you have it the 2022 Razor XP4 1000 Sport thanks for watching